use this paint. I'm gonna use this paint. Oh, it's kind of crooked. <clears throat> I'm back and literally dwarf skin is the same as Cadian flesh Citadel so if you're wondering maybe even looks a little better in my opinion alright which one was yellow which one was yellow blue was yellow See this one works now. Just gonna do this head. I'll detail the eyes later. Drink. This live session is sponsored by Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> All right. Welcome back, people. Hopefully, Thomas Wayne can get uh, painted up. So I re. Um, Airbrushed it. Dwarf skin. Game air. Boom. Sealed it this time with a rattle can. Kind of let the air compressor like blow air on it. And then I went and spent like the past like 45 seconds using the hair dryer to like fast cure it to the plastic. So hopefully. And I'm also not using alcohol or airbrush manner this time for the washes. So. And I forgot to put this fucking brush in the water. Now it's all hard. All right, let's see if this works. If it doesn't, I give up. I'm done. I quit. Quit customs altogether. I'll sell off my collection and move on. Start collecting something else. Poly pockets. Get in there. Oh, the broccoli again. So he's back with some. Funko, I got, I got, that's what I started with, Funko Pops. I love them. And then they're, they just lost its appeal to me. I still get some every now and then. My wife collects them. Oh, yeah. Dude, this skin tone is way better than that Citadel one. Vallejo greater than Citadel. You can actually see like the tinting of it this time. Oh yeah. This time it's Wayne looking jaundiced. What's next? Red? Red, I think. Red for red. Red brush for red. Don't do this to your brushes, people. Treat your brushes better. What's up, Grandpa Kanye? Should be good. <clears throat> 
you can see the yellow tinting. Uh, hold on. See a little bit of the yellow tinting there. Definitely a better skin tone now. But once I hit it with this red, let's go with this. get in the eyes so I can uh, I don't have to paint that later a little redness in your inner eye you know look at that bloody Thomas Wayne he's losing eyes right now he can't see his vision's gone oh no the paint look at that fucking paint right there in his eye fuck it I'm gonna touch it up later patch on his forehead. I think I brushed too hard there. I could probably touch it up right now actually. I do storm collectibles. I did a custom Paul Phoenix for a, a local toy photographer here. That one was apparently a big hit. I was so nervous on it though. Like, yeah, that's like the full up one. I did a Mr. Freeze. My Mr. Freeze was a, um, I haven't tried that out. Uh, Oh, sorry. Let me go back to that. Um, the Mr. Freeze. I did Mr. Freeze custom with a Gears body. I did a Batman XC suit with a Gears body. I did a, like, a Nightmare Bane, if you will, with a Gears body. I need to build up my Nightmare universe. Um... I did a couple Gears, uh, a couple of Storm, though. But... I do want to try that flicking technique, if you will. Uh, turbo, yeah. Toy Fighter Turbo. Really good Storm Collectibles photographer. I've seen the one where the guy does it. He like flicks it and it like gets all the imperfections. And then he goes over it again with like a skin tone to like kind of bury it. Man, even just the yellow and the red wash make a big difference. Probably just do a blue, patch the head up, and then move on to, what's his name, Bruce. And let this guy just sit. Probably have to do him tomorrow. Thanks, Kit Bash. I was very worried about it. I was like, he's not going to like it. I was like, the head's too small. The hair's 
not perfect. The beard, uh, bleh, it's gonna rub, and it rubs because it's storm collectible. But like, I varnished that thing like I gave it like freaking four or five coats of like sealant, and it still rubs. That's just the nature of a uh, nature of storm collectibles. Yeah, like yeah, like crazy. He got that damn nick in his fucking right there. But I know my wife was telling me the same thing. Dude, those people who paint those, like, head sculpts, like, freaking realistic at 112 scale are freaking amazing. Um, did you use the Heihachi body? Yeah, I did. He provided me the body. He provided me everything. Uh, not everything. He provided me the Heihachi body. I used my personal collection Ryu hands, repainted those. I super glued some aluminum foil in the rough shape of Paul Phoenix's hair onto the top of Odinson, the Marvel Legend Odinson's head. And uh, did a layer of Aves first for a, just to give it some more rigidity. And then... Uh, green stuff, because green stuff holds detail really well. It's also a bitch to work with, though. But I did the aluminum, because I didn't want the head to be super heavy, just because it's full of sculpt, you know? I'm going to hold this head. Sorry, I'm doing off camera. Thank you, I appreciate it. Here's the blue with that. Still a little wet. Why am I using the napkin? Use the sponge. Oh yeah. Okay, this looks like these washes, man, they look freaking, I'm impressed. And this is just, like, I watched the Sideshow Collectibles, the, dude, the guy paint the uh, Clark Kent, the Superman head, like, ten times. And I just loved seeing the process of it. And I was like, I'm going to get some action figure custom heads, and then I'm going to paint these up. Like, in that style, just on a smaller scale. So here's that. You see all the different like variations in tone. The yellows, a little bit of reds, and then the blue. Yeah, man, that dude is a freaking master painter, man. It's like, I want that job. I want to get that good. I just want to sit there and paint. Uh, fighting games. Um, I have a scorpion up there that I want to turn to, uh, like, smoke or something. But I, I know eventually they're going to release a smoke, but. I just want to practice my repaints. Boom. God, that looks good. I'm impressed. And then I'm going to fuck it up once I do eyes, watch.
these sponges like legit that's what he was using in the the video usually i just use a napkin but the extra close up of the freaking nick on his i just get so impatient like that's probably why this nick happened Do it, man. It's easy. I need to do like a showcase on them. I was so worried about doing the freaking shoulder pads. Like, how am I going to do the shoulder pads? Like, maybe I won't do shoulder pads. Maybe, like, I'll just leave them off or something. But I had the Mezco ones. Let's see if I can just touch this up. I'm just gonna have this one little patch that's out of. His eyebrows will hide most of it. It'll dry and then. All right, I think I'm done with this one. I can go back to the Bruce Wayne head. I forgot what the next step is. I watched this so many times, but. Edwin, welcome. Here's the progress for this ad. It's falling off its peg. This is what I use for pegs. Just some sticky tack on the end of the... that's dry I'll do his hair and then I'll go seal it I guess this one like I feel like I can use some more washes now after that other one Thomas Wayne, the Thomas Wayne head sculpt just has a lot more wrinkles and like variation and elevation. So it's like you can see it, you really see it. How the wash gets into the crevices. All right, what do they do? What do they do next? Um, what did he do next? So I did this, did the painted. Uh, this guy on Facebook. Um, it's going to trade me some fodder, if you will. Uh, he hit me up back in, like, November time frame. And he was asking, like, what would make a good head. And if, for a Bizarro, like the bearded Bizarro from, like, the um, Red Hood Outlaws, if you will. Um, so he's got the beard. And then he's got, like, a little hair. Uh, and if, like, he saw that I was looking for fodder parts on, like, a Facebook group I'm in, and he was like, well, if you want to, like, make me a Lazaro head, I can trade you some fodder parts. And so I was like, yeah, sure. And so I spent a couple months just trying to find the perfect head. And at that point, I wasn't really good at uh, sculpting beards. And to be honest, this is the first time I sculpted a full, full beard. That Paul Phoenix was more like a chin strap, if you will. 
but this is like the actual like first time I did like a full beard. Bottom portion of a beard. Um, and so I saw Deadhood do use Skullbuster for his Bizarro. And I was like, oh, that's actually like perfect. And so I hit him up. I was like, dude, that's genius using Skullbuster for Bizarro. Um, and so I started sculpting on this one. Which I need to finish the sculpt. I need to do the mustache portion of it. And then the top of the hair. And then paint it up. And then it should be good. Bizarro's pretty easy though. You know, he's all gray. So. But yeah. That's the story behind that. I'm going to look up that video real quick. placed my Dr. Pepper in the most inconvenient spot. There, today's sponsor. God, my station's a mess. I also got a ton of these. They're like five bucks at Target. I gotta figure out what to do with them. I got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four of these unopened right now. If anyone wants to trade anything, whatever you feel like you want to trade, because I got them for five bucks, so I'm not going to ask for like a $60 figure from you or something. Uh, Side shop collectible pain. Painting Superman. I think he's highlighting now with a red wash, which I'll do that. <clears throat> he's just highlighting the areas. Like the raised area, so he's like doing the, the tip of the nose and like the kind of temple area and then like the the chin, kind of like the brow. Dude, I bought like three of those Janice Vale ones just because it's a black body, you know? So... He's got a hair on his nose. Get off there. No. I don't have nails, so I can't peel it off. Yeah, uh, RS Toys, it's a sideshow painting vid. Trying to just replicate it on smaller scale. And then I got some other 1-6 head sculpts coming in. That I'm gonna try and replicate it on. I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm just peeling the paint off now. Why well, you need to take care, better care of your brushes, people. Don't do this. Now it'll stay on there. He'll have a nose hair. I gotta try and cover that. Yeah, I'm doing this. This is the first time I'm ever doing this, and I'm doing it live. So I'm just showing you all that. I'm not a perfect customizer. Scoot y'all back. Oh. That 
thanks. That was a personal little grail of mine. I always wanted a Jackie Chan figure, and I wanted to get it in a... Uh, one twelve scale, but uh, you don't really see them in one twelve. So have to go over it with a wash of the actual skin tone. Leftover paint on my brush keeps getting on the skin. Sorry, let's clean this real quick. The head is going to be for a sovereign night right there. We also got a Thomas Wayne one. I want to try and get a shot of them together, both unmasked. You know? If I was a Boy photographer and I had dioramas and everything. I'd try and get a dope shot, but get those some rosy cheeks. I just blend it with my finger. The tops of his ears. The bottom loop. Hey, no, you gotta go to sleep, Bubba. You got school tomorrow. I don't have school tomorrow. Your comebacks are your comebacks are weak. Nothing. Uh, Action Figure Customs has the head. Great head. It could probably work for the... Probably work for it. So you see little subtle variations in... in the th threads. lip color going. Get a different dry brush so I can soak up the paint that's in the cracks. 
Um, the explanation that I've heard as far as like getting the right consistency with your paint is if it's similar to milk. I like the consistency of milk. Oh, I forgot I still left this here. For a wash though, you kind of want it just like tinted water, if you will. I think that's as good as it's gonna. B. I mean, it's way better than I usually just do like a flat, like skin color and paint the eyes and the hair and then call it good. But I need to step up my game. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the thing you can do is just pour some milk in something. And <laughs> then take note of uh, like a drop of paint with the thinner or whatever and then see like how many drop to paint ratio that is. Just making it worse. Eh, hey, oh well. One day I'll try to repaint it. Better than the normal head sculpts I do. It is the Arkham Knight, Bruce Wayne, uh, Johnston. Yeah. Sweet. I think this guy's done for flesh. off camera and not on live because it's just going to be up in my face and then for those who just joined this is the Thomas Wayne one so far <laughs> All right. I think that's it. I'm going to clean up a bit here and then start working on the eyes. Uh, maybe do Bruce Wayne's eyes first. Try out my new brushes. But that's going to be all off camera for live, so there's no point of being live. So appreciate everyone jumping back in. 
uh, tuning in, asking questions, talking. I will talk to y'all later.